So this is a rather a long, uh, wordy question, uh, but it's just about tracing the operation of a Turing machine. So this Turing machine's got four states, and they haven't given us a state transition diagram, but they have given us um, here some rules, and there's a set of rules here that we need to apply. So they've explained in the question how the rule works a bit. So if the machine is currently in S1 for this rule here, and the input symbol is one, then the tape moves right and we write one. So that bit there is just moving right. That's what we're writing, writing one. This is the input here. So we've got a set of rules. So if we're in S1 and we read a one, then we stay in S1. We write a one and we go right. But if we're in S2, we read a one, we go to S3, we write a space or a blank and we go left, etc. So we can try tracing this idea. So they've given us a start position here. So we start in this position and the current state is S1. So we're in S1 and we read a one. So S1 read a one means we stay in S1 and we write a one and we go right. So the tape's going to look one, 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 one still. We're going to have gone right just there and we're still in state S1. So all we've done is write a one back to that position and move one to the right. So then we're still in S1, so we read a one. And when we read a one, we write a one, so it's going to look like this again, and we move to the right there. And we're still in state S1 because we were in S1, we read a one, we wrote a one, and we moved to the right and stayed in that same state. So then we're in S1, so we're going to read again here. So we're going to end up with one, 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 and our read right head moves across one more. And we're still in state S1 because we've just written that there in S1, we've written one again, move to the right. So the next thing that we're going to do is check our state as S1. So we're still in that. So our numbers are one, 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 one still, but we've we've read and written a one and we've moved to the right. So now our read right head is over this cell here, um, but we're still in state S1. So now we're going to be reading from state S1 a blank. So that's this rule here. So there's the rule S1 blank equals S2 blank and left. So we're going to move back to the left. We wrote a blank there. And now we've changed state to S2. So we're now in state S2. So in state S2, we read a one. We've read a one there. We write a blank and we move to the left. So we've moved there to the left. We've written a blank. And we were in S2. We've written a blank. We moved to state S3. So we've moved to S3. So now we're in S3. We're going to read a one in S3. When we read a one, it says we write a blank and we go to the left. And we change state to S4. And S4, as it says at the top, is the halting state or the stop state. So S4 is the stop state. So that means we stop and the machine stops. So what we've done is we've read all the ones on the tape. We've come to the end of those ones on the right hand side. We've gone back, deleting two of them as we go. So two of them have been deleted. So explain what the Turing machine does. Well, it deletes two ones 
from the right hand side of a run of ones. So that's all it does. You don't need to say any more really uh, about that. Uh, we could we could go into the idea of it subtracting two from a, a, a binary string or something like that. But essentially, um, that's all it does. So a lot of the time, these explain what the machine does questions seem as if they might be too simple, and it's trying to you know, they're trying to ask you something more difficult. But they're really not in this case. Um, so what we did on this is we trace the Turing machine by using the rules. So these rules here, and you know, you could easily uh, write down next to this if it helps you the next state, uh, or you know, where the current state, and then what the next state will be when we've read it. If you wanted to do that, you can write anything on the paper. It's not a problem as long as when your answers are written in the boxes, they're really clear and it's easy for the examiner to read. So that's just uh, tracing a Turing machine which has got uh, inputs and writing to the tape and a direction of movement.